Hi guys, it's Legionero back with another video. Um, so last couple of videos, I've been showing you all of the things that I got, birthday presents, different things like that. The um, steam press and the Cricut. So I want to start using those things in my sewing journey. So today is gonna be like a watch me work kind of thing. So I want to use my Cricut and also make the bag that you saw in the thumbnail. So I'm gonna get started. Not sure how this is gonna work. This is even a different camera. <laughs> so I got the whole bunch of stuff going on. Hopefully it work out for me. So first thing I wanna do, I want to um, show you the design and Cricut design space of what I want to put on the clutch bag. And um, we'll go from there. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so first thing I wanna do is new project. And I want to go to upload and choose the image I want to use, then hit insert images. All right, so this is pretty large, right? The width is 55. So I want to take this down to about 10. I'll start there, see how it looks. Um, that's still a little big for what I want to do. So I'm going to take that down to about five. All right. So the width is five inches and the height is four inches. So I'll leave it for right there because this is just practice. All right, so I am going to use this um, shimmer vinyl. I hope you can see that. It's a shimmer vinyl and it's by Paper um, Studio from Hobby Lobby. This is, uh, um, I guess their brand. Um, it was 50% off, so I grabbed it. So I'm going to use this. I don't know if you can see the color really well, but it's really pretty. And I think that design will go really pretty with what I'm trying to do. All right. So let's get this started. All right. So you see that button flashing there. I'm sorry if the camera's moving a lot. That button flashing there, that's my load button. So I need to take my mat with the vinyl and press the load button. Let's see if I can do that with one hand here I need to make sure my mat is lined up correctly there we go ah I'm gonna hit this load see this is what happens when you try to do stuff with one hand let's try it again ah there we go and now I'm going to hit the cricket um, button. It's flashing. That means it's ready. When it's done, your um, load button will start flashing again. You press that and it'll unload your mat for you. All right, so I know you all can't see this very well, but I can see it pretty good. And once I start to lift up this vinyl, you'll see it. And this process, what I'm doing is called weeding. This vinyl is going to be everywhere. Okay guys, so <laughs> that vinyl was an epic fail. Reading is fundamental. Research is fundamental. I got it now. So I'm using a different vinyl. So you'll see a different vinyl um, in the next part of the video. 
when I say learning process, this is a learning process. I rather just make, if I had just made a clutch bag, this video would have been over by now. Yeah, okay. I'm fine, it's fine. Ooh, all right, y'all. Let's see if I can get this right on here. You're trying to make sure there's no bubbles. Mm -hmm. Now I need my scraper. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Okay, cross your fingers. We're gonna try to lift this thing up. This transfer tape. Woo. I'm going slow. I got my scraper nearby just in case any of the letters try to come up. So now I can go ahead and finish putting together this clutch bag. Okay, so I am going to finish up the clutch now. Um, hindsight is 2020. <laughs> and I was thinking that maybe I should have made the clutch first and then put the design on it. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and since this is for experimental, um, demonstration purposes only i'm not going to use a lining on this clutch i'm just going to sew it up just like this with the zipper all right so and as i sit down here i realize i don't have any thread on the top of my machine so stand by <laughs> Take one side of my clutch, and this is my zipper. I am going to place my zipper face down. The zipper pull is facing the right side of the fabric. I have my zipper foot on my machine. I'm going to sew. Change back to my regular foot. So I can top stitch, cut my loose threads. All right. So I'm just gonna flip this like this so I can 
top stitch across. It's always best to increase your stitch length when you're top stitching. Makes it look a whole lot better. All right, change back to my zipper foot. And you get to the other side of this clutch. Place it face down. Make sure everything's lined up nice and neat. And remember the zipper pull is facing the right side of the fabric. I have several videos on here where I do this from start to finish. I'll link Everything except the cricket part. I'll link um, them in the description box below on how to make a clutch from start to finish with the lining. I'm going to top stitch just like I did the other side. So now I am going to unzip this, place it with the right sides facing. I'm going to sew all the way around. And I'm going to make my seam allowance a little bit bigger because I have a lot of room here. Um, usually, if I was making a bag to sell, I would probably put some zipper tabs on here to make it look a little bit neater, but again, demonstration purposes only. <laughs> Now I'm just going to turn this very carefully to the right side. Um, my phone in the other room is ringing. Sorry. Usually I would trim this down and clip my corners. Or I may still clip my corners. Let's see. I won't mess up my snips. Why not? You could also get some bias tape. I like my clutches with linings, but um, it's much faster to sew them like this. You could get some bias tape and put some bias tape around the um, seam allowance. It'd be really cute if you got some contrasting colors. So 
So let's turn this and hopefully my queen <laughs> stays intact. <laughs> it's supposed to be permanent final, so we'll see. I don't want to distress it too much. Oh, it looks like it's holding up. Well, looks like my experiment held up pretty well. The vinyl stayed intact. Um, doesn't look like it's coming up. I need to do some research, but I need to see if maybe I can put some Mod Podge over it. And once it dries, it'll kind of help it stay in place more. But I'm happy with my experiment, but again, I will probably make the bag first and then put this on there. All right. So thank you guys for bearing with me through this and um, watching me do my experiment with my Cricut and a clutch bag. So it's a great way to incorporate um, Cricut into your sewing handbags. And um, if you're not using um, vinyl, this is vinyl. If you're using um, regular fabric or canvas or something like that, I'm sure you can use the heat transfer vinyl. All right.